You have the adventure case, and now you're ready to expand the lid into another 7U rack. This is the expander kit consisting of 36 shrouded header bus board, two leg screws, case handle connector and screws, six rails, power adapter cables, screws for the rails, power switch and wires, heat sink tiles, and thermal tape for the heat sink tiles. We'll start by installing the case handle. Start with this connector piece at this angle. Note that it's the same angle on both sides. We'll screw it into the back of the case on both sides, making sure that the hole lines up with the hole on the case. Next, place the handle over the holes and insert the bolts into each side through the holes that we just created with the connector piece. Using a large Allen wrench like this, and then the nuts on the underside, screw the handle bolts down to support the pieces that we just screwed in. Tighten the bolts in firmly. And now we have a secure handle for the case. And this is what the handle should look like on the inside. Notice those two connector pieces are facing the same direction. And now we can unscrew the heat sink cover panel from the lid. Just unscrew. All the screws and keep the screws safe because we'll be needing those for the bus board. Now let's install the rails. To access the screw holes for the rails, we have to take off the side panels on the case. Notice on each side on the face of the case, there are three screws. Just remove the three screws on each side. And then there are three screws on the inside of each side to remove as well. This will allow you to remove those side panels of the case and you could start laying your rails on the little nubs in the case. Using these screws, screw the rails into the sides of the case. Use a module or a blank as a spacer reference so you can make sure that the distances are correct on both the top and bottom rows and even your 1U row. And note you can change the orientation of the rows to have your 1U row in the middle instead. With the rails in place, now you can put the side panels back on the case and put all the screws back in. And to note again, do this before you put your bus board in. And now we're ready to put the bus board in. Now we'll notice on the back there are these seven squares here for our heat sink thermal tape. Take a piece of the thermal tape and you can peel off this other piece covering the other end and place it either way onto the white squares on the back of the bus board. Now taking the heat sink tiles you see there are those holes and there are these nubs on the case. And we could just place those on the nubs, but we actually want some thermal tape on that face of the heat sink. Place another piece of thermal tape on the heat sink. Remove the tape protective layer and just position the holes again. You kind of have to press and place them over the nubs and you could press the panel right on there. You'll do this for all seven heat sinks across the entire bus board area. Once we have them in place, we're ready to place the bus board. Now be aware of the orientation with the two rows up top so the heat sinks line up. Now we can start screwing in the bus board. Start at one corner and don't tighten the screws all the way. Then screw in the opposite corner to ensure the bus board sits correctly. And then go through the rest of the screws, not tightening all the way. And then you could go through and tighten them all firmly. And now we have the power switch. First you'll want to press it into your case until it clicks, but for this I'm going to show it outside of that to show how it connects. Take our power jack and insert the red cable into the bottom connection of the power switch. Then we're going to take the other red cable and insert that into the top or middle connection on the power switch. When you get it all connected and the jack screwed in, this is what it looks like. Now we're ready to connect to the bus board. Note red is positive and black is negative. Just loosen the screws to slide in the wires and then tighten the screw. And now we're ready to power it on. When you power it on, you should see three red lights in the center of the bus board. And that shows that it is on and you're ready to go. And now you have a whole new 7U case.